Hey, how do you doodly do? My name is Roger and for the last few years I have been sailing in the Mediterranean. But then came Covid and for the time being sailing in Greece is impossible for me. But when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? So I decided to make the best of it. I took my newly bought camper van and decided I wanted to explore my own country and share it with you guys. In this episode I'm driving through the last bits of Lofoten heading for Vesterolen. Vesterolen is also very beautiful but with less dramatic mountains. I will show you some of the highlights on my way there and try my fishing luck. But first, I now have my own merch up on my website. I've had some help to design some t-shirts and gadgets that I hope you will like. Now for the first 10 days you will have 15% off, so hurry up and grab yours. As always, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share with all of your friends. Patrons get early access, so if you want to help out, head on over there. Now let's get to it. Come along. so beautiful really it's so pretty and uh, way too cold especially today this has not been the best day now the sun is shining and the sky is mostly blue but still it's windy I got my long sleeves on It's almost like it is a problem in Lofoten that you can't drive very far between the next place, you just have to stop. It's so picturesque, it's crazy. It's not more than three minutes since my last stop and I had to stop here too.
Yes, I think I found the place I want to stay for the night. This is absolute beautiful. But I want to do some fishing. I've decided today I'm going to fish my own food. No question about it. I won't give up until I have enough to eat. But right here, it's a little bit too shallow to be uh, throwing the line in. So uh, I better come back here later. Now I have to find somewhere where I can stand and throw in the line and catch my dinner. Yes, and that makes a perfect uh, time to show you where I keep my fish rod. Because uh, I had a problem finding a good place for it. Then I came up with this idea. So I keep my fish rod in this cylinder and I keep it above my head when I sleep. It was, it was the only place I could find with long enough to put it. Because it's uh, one meter 30, I think, the cylinder. I just want to advise you that uh, I have no local knowledge in this area whatsoever. So I have to pay attention to the tides. I haven't checked on the tide tables. So maybe I get stuck out here if I don't pay attention. And I have no knowledge where it is best to stand to throw in the line or if there is any fish in the area. Of course, this local knowledge is a huge advantage, but uh, I'm gonna try. If I only can get down here, I got, I'm walking here with the fillet knife and everything, so gotta watch my steps. Okay, I haven't given up yet, but I need to find a better location because here is too shallow, too much seaweed, and it's impossible to get the line in before it's stuck. So, next location. This was not my lucky day fishing. In fact, I was fishing here for two hours and had three tiny little fishes on. Way too small to keep, actually. But since two of them had the hook going through their eye, I kept them anyways. I was later told by a friend that since it's normally pretty shallow close to shore and a lot of seaweed, only the small fish is there. If you're gonna get real fish, you need to go to deeper water. What I'm having is uh, asparagus and boiled potatoes with uh, a sauce that in Norwegian is called sandefjordsmør. It's a uh, whipping cream that you boil up so you reduce it a little bit. Then you whip butter into it. And uh, when it's about thick enough, you uh, taste it with salt and lemon. It's amazing. Cool. Cheers.
I could definitely use some more fish, but um, this is what I got. <laughs> and um, <laughs> maybe not something I should be proud of when I go to Vesterol to go fishing, because this <laughs> is where there should be plenty of fish. But I don't think I found the best place to fish. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, subscribing to my channel, commenting down below and hitting that like button as hard as you can. In the next episode I'm going out at sea with this beautiful old fishing vessel exploring Vesterolen by sea, so stay tuned for that. Before we end this vlog I want to thank my patrons and channel members for supporting the making of these videos. A special thank you to my gold supporter Harvey Engwert. If you want early access and spread some love, then head on over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid or simply join as a channel member right here on YouTube.